After a nine-month extended stay aboard the International Space Station, today we got the highly anticipated homecoming splashdown for Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore. Dr. Tom Marshburn, chief astronaut for Sierra Space, knows firsthand the transition from weightlessness to the drag of gravity, having done three tours ab aboard the space station, and joins us now for tonight's interview. So, um, doctor, let's start with the physical. Yeah. What, what are they going through now, and what will they go through? So they're enjoying right now lying down in the gurneys. They're in the med bay of, of the boat. They're getting close, though, to being uh, loaded on board a helicopter and then taken on board. So a lot of activities, a lot, very noisy, a lot of sensations coming in, the sea air, all that stuff. But uh, that whole gravity thing, yeah, they're, they're kind of laughing about it and ex enjoying experiencing what it feels like to feel the gravity again. When you first splash down, is there a, a big, because of the rush of sensations, is there something that just pierced through and is a really strong memory for you, either the sea air or the sound of the seagulls or? Of all of that um, in the background, the main thing is what is this force that is just just sucking me into my seat? Uh, I mentioned before that uh, we tried to pick up a little half liter bottle of water and it just slipped through our fingers and fell in our lap. And actually the commander of Rajachari radioed to mission control at uh, Hawthorne for SpaceX and said, could you please provide water that's not quite as heavy next time? <laughs> so, but it's just a matter of your body just has to get used to the habit of handling things that have, have weight. And how, how long did it take you and were there stages uh, before you felt what we would associate with just with normal? Right, so very much stages. I would say in about a day, you start to get used to it. Your body remembers gravity. You might be a little unsteady. Your um, sense of balance, mm -hmm. that's got to get uh, right as, as well. You think you're really good after a couple of days. They won't let you drive for a couple of weeks. They put you through a lot of balance tests. The thing that takes the longest is these are all athletes uh, yeah. in some way. And so they're not back into shape like they were before until probably about three months. What about the mental adjustment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, great question. You could ask the families of those that come back. My <laughs> wife will tell you uh, I was permanently changed, but probably six months before you just stop taking out the trash and looking up at the night sky and going, was I really there? Did that really happen? So you get, you get those, kind of, uh, those kinds of thoughts, uh, and some remain with you for the rest of your life. So, because you can actually see the ISS from- You can, you can, there's an app yeah. for that. It'll tell you when it shows up. And so uh, not every night, it has to be in just the right, right place at the right time. But absolutely, it's the second brightest thing, second to the moon in the night sky. We talked about this a tiny bit on the special report, but you know, um, Butch and Sonny, I call them that just because we've talked about them so yes. much. What they go by. Um, they, you know, it's been characterized in a bunch of different ways. As, as someone who knows them and who knows the sense of mission, what does it feel like when you have an extended stay? How, how does an astronaut uh, process the idea, well, you gotta stay a little bit longer than you expected? I think there'd be dual emotions. Um, the overwhelming one is, as you said, this is the mission, I'm gonna do it. Even a sense of pride, if you will, of saying, <clears throat> I, they trust me to do this. And so absolutely you're gonna carry it out. And some, in their case, some joy in knowing that all those years of training, they're gonna to get to do it all. Maybe even get a spacewalk, which they did. Yeah. Uh, they get to do all the science on board the space station, experience zero G. The other side is, of course, working out what you might be missing with the family and knowing the family didn't expect this and it's hard on them. What, how is space changing in terms of Sierra Space and SpaceX mm -hmm. and Boeing and all these private industries being a part of space? How should we think of the entire space exploration idea now? So it's uh, changing over to the commercial uh, world for low Earth orbit, certainly. At Sierra Space, we're building habitats. We got our Dream Chaser launching this year that's gonna bring, bring in cargo to the ISS. Um, and so uh, each, there are several companies that want to get involved in human spaceflight, long duration spaceflight. And so we're all going to be probably doing that together in low Earth orbit. Uh, NASA bringing crew members um, back to the moon, explore the moon, live around the moon, and eventually on to Mars. So um, all those things, NASA's kind of leaving over low Earth orbit to those of us who want to build an infrastructure in low Earth orbit. 